Welcome to iPad Training. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to append a signature to a PDF using the app called iAnnotate. Let's begin by opening iAnnotate on your iPad by simply tapping the icon. iAnnotate opens on our screen, and you can see here that we already have a document open, waiting for a signature. The first thing we will do is tap on the pencil button on the toolbar on the right hand side of your screen. Once we do that, you can use a stylus or your finger to actually sign the document on the signature line. Once you've completed signing the document, we'll change the color of the text that you've written. To do this, tap your handwritten signature and then from there we'll select the color spectrum bar in the toolbar that appears above your signature. Now that your document is signed and we've changed the color of the text, the next thing we'll do is make this signature into a stamp so that we don't have to hand sign our documents from here on out. We can simply create a stamp, tap one button, and append a signature to the document. To do so, let's click on the stamp button in the control panel right above your handwritten signature. We mu now must give our new stamp a name. We'll call it Signature, and then we'll tap the yellow arrow when we're finished. We now have created a stamp called Signature, which contains your actual handwritten signature. The next step is getting this stamp as a separate button on your toolbar. The first thing we need to do to do this is click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner. Then we'll tap on this rugged wheel at the bottom of your toolbar to make some changes to that toolbar. Next we see a new window open that shows us all of the options for buttons we can add to our toolbars. One I would like to point out is there is now a date stamp that can be added and used in conjunction with a signature. The one we are looking for in particular to add our signature as a button is add stamp with a specific image. Once you see this icon here, you can tap on the icon and drag it directly into the toolbar where you would like it to be stationed. Next you'll see a window up here asking you which stamp you would like to use in conjunction with this new button. Obviously from here we'll select the signature stamp and then it will be added to our toolbar. When we're finished making all the changes we want to our toolbars, we simply hit the done button. We now see the initial edit toolbar screen that we saw previously. If we're done making changes to our toolbars, we then just tap the checkmark button in the lower left hand corner of this screen. Now when we get back to our main screen, we can see that there is a new stamp button located on our toolbar. In the future, we can use this button to append our signature to a document by sl simply tapping on the button and then tapping the location in your document where you would like to place your signature. I would also like to point out the date button that I have added to my toolbar that I can use to attach a date to a document. It automatically calculates the date for you and places it in your document. We now have a signed document that will be stored on your iPad and can also be emailed out through Lotus Notes on the iPad. Thank you for watching.